bubonic plague, which is commonly known as Black Death, during the medieval period is caused by the bacteria Yersinia pestis, and it's primarily a disease of rodents. Hello, my name is Dr. Paula Summerlee, and today we'll be talking about war on rats, bubonic plague, and the causes of bubonic plague in Galveston. The outbreak of bubonic plague in Galveston in 1920 is part of the third pandemic. In 1894, rats infected with fleas boarded ships leaving China, which were heading for the west coast in San Francisco, and there was an outbreak of bubonic plague there in 1900. Thereafter, the infection traveled south towards the Gulf Coast. Rats are the principal carriers. The infection is carried from rat to rat by the flea. The fleas feed on the blood of a plague-infested rat. And after the death of the rat, the fleas leave and seek other rats. Or when a human comes into close contact with a dead rat, the flea may attach itself to the human and the infection is tracked from the bite up into the femoral glands which are at the top of your thigh. So on biting or puncturing the skin, the flea regurgitates or defecates the bacteria into the wound. And sometimes a tiny pustule is visible. And I'm sure if you've had little bites around your ankles, you probably find them very itchy and this spreads the infection. The bacteria can also be transmitted by direct contact with infected tissue or fluids or by droplet inhalation, which is called pneumonic plague. And given we're in the midst of pandemic, we all know the importance of wearing masks. The first change noted in the human is a swelling or bubo in the lymph glands, which are clustered under the arms groin on the inner thigh, neck, chest, and abdomen. One would think of bubonic plague as a sort of medieval or historic disease, but that is not the case. There are on average 17 cases of bubonic plague diagnosed in the United States. The cause of that is people coming into close contact with dead rodents. If you go for a walk and you find a little dead rodent, it could have fleas on it carrying the plague bacteria, and if those fleas bite you, you're more than likely to be diagnosed with bubonic plague. Fortunately, you can be treated with antibiotics, and the sooner, the better. And plague tends to um, resurface during hurricanes and issues with civilization and collections of trash and war and all those things. Bubonic plague will find its way back. So that's why it's impossible to eradicate.